Welcome Course Heroes to the channel Zero to Course Hero. Today we are talking about Kajabi versus New Zendler. So thank you for tuning in. Let's get started with this video. All right, Course Heroes, we are on the Kajabi pricing page and let's do a side by side comparison between Kajabi and New Zendler and see what kind of features we'll get. So I'm on my uh, New Zendler pricing page on my website and I'll put that link in the description below so you can do a side by side comparison as well. When we are comparing this, we are going to be comparing their annual plan to New Zendler's annual plan just so we can have a correct comparison because if I compare their monthly plan that won't work since New Zealand does not offer a monthly plan today. That being said, let's dive into it. First of all, right off the bat, the price is just insane. 119 bucks a month. Now, of course, uh, there are people out there who love Kajabi, swear by it. We all love the platforms. We all have one or two platforms that we can stand by and no matter what other people say, that's the platform we want to use. And I get that. But I also like to save money more than anything else. And that's really the one platform that I'm most loyal to is saving money. So with that, uh, let's see what is included in that 119 a month. And now remember, this is on the annual discount. If I switch to one just a monthly plan, it's 149 bucks a month. So let's go back to annual discount. I'm looking at their basic package, not even the growth package. And uh, for 119 a month, you get three products and three pipelines. All right, I did some digging around and essentially a product is basically your course. So you get three products, which means you can have three separate courses. And then you also get three pipelines and pipelines are uh, almost a marketing funnel as we have seen in New Zendler, where you can put your users through a pipeline of events. And you can create three pipelines on your on the basic plan of Kajabi. That's the terminology that they're using, products versus pipelines. I think a course is a product, but a pipeline could be where you're giving a freebie. That freebie could be a one, one pipeline where someone has an opt-in page and a thank you page. And then your second pipeline could be the sales page or a webinar page. And from the webinar, you lead up to the event. From after the event, you lead them up to the sales page. That could be a second pipeline. And within each pipeline, you get um, you can have emails, you can have automations, all of that. So it's almost like a CRM built in. Uh, pretty much it reminds me of Active Campaign, where you have this canvas and you're working on the canvas. And then every time you click within an email, next step opens up. So I'm going to show you real quick what that looks like. So let's just go to Kajabi. And this is what I saw in one of their help videos on how that pipeline looks. So you can see here, this is the overview of a pipeline. I'm going to go to full screen just to give you an example. So this would be kind of like a sales pipeline where you have your opt-in form, then you have your email sequences, and you can even create new pages or add existing landing pages. So I am gonna say that this looks pretty slick and it looks very modern and it looks very snappy where everything works quickly, but you also get this with New Zendler. It just looks a little different, but you also have the pipeline in New Zendler and I'll link to that video in the show notes or in the video description below where I walk you through how to have an entire funnel with a new zeller where someone opts in and then they get emails and after they get emails they sign up for your event whether it's a webinar or sign up straight up for your course so you can check that out as well and again it's it's the terminology that is different but the concept is the same the user interface is different but at the end result is the same and then you have unlimited landing pages unlimited marketing emails and uh, same thing here you have unlimited pages that you can build each course comes with it for its four core pages um, within New Zealand but you can also go to site pages and build as many pages as you want and then you also get 100 marketing funnels you get unlimited marketing emails with Kajabi at 119 a month with New Zealand at 3725 a month you get 100,000 emails but you can also connect New Zendler with your own email marketing service, which I'm sure you can do with Kajabi as well. So you do get 100,000 emails per month and that quota resets every month. So you also get 10,000 contacts. Here you get 25,000, but instead of contacts, they're called leads. Here's the kicker. You only get 1,000 active members with Kajabi. There is no limit to the number of active students you can have with New Zendler. And you can see that the active members is pretty much capped with Kajabi, but with New Zealand, you have no cap. So 
even on their basic plan you only get a thousand active members and that's that's pretty low if you're looking to you uh, sell courses as a full-time job you want that platform that's going to give you unlimited courses or unlimited uh, students sorry you get one website we have discussed this in the teachable and thinkific review here you get multiple websites you get three sites with new zendler and all for that one price one annual price of 447 dollars a year so three separate sites three separate custom domains and each site has 100 marketing funnels unlimited pages you get one admin user we have looked at here you get 10 admin users 10 assistants 10 supports and 20 instructors i don't know what kajabi university is i'm assuming it's a place where they teach you how to create and sell online courses you don't get that with new zendler but if you do get new zendler through my affiliate link i do have a course called zero to course hero where i walk you through all the steps of creating an online course and that's included as well zero percent transaction fee this is the same you get webinars and events webinars is coming in the pipeline it's not ready yet but with new zendler you will get webinars down the line for now you can always use uh, youtube live webinars and use a software like open broadcast software i'll link to that video in the description below on how to run live webinars for free then you also get ready to use templates this is something that uh, new zendler does not have but they are coming up with this functionality as well so it's going to be almost like a click funnels functionality where you can export templates you can have a marketplace where people are selling their templates and that's going to make your job easier of not worrying about designing a page and getting to market quick and then assessments quizzes and surveys this is also part of your new zendler school at the 447 a year uh, automations i have discussed this uh, in previous videos you get automations for funnels and also for your courses so i'm going to quickly hop into my new zendler school to show you what those automations look like okay so i'm inside my new zendler school and here you will see um, i'm going to go to automation for one of the courses each course has its own set of automations and there's unlimited number of automations so i have an automation here that whenever someone enrolls in my new zendler mastery course to send them in welcome to the course email and then also add a tag but what i can do is i can always go into my automation rules and edit this so let me go to full screen so you can see what i'm doing here and i can add a new automation here simply on enroll i can say when someone enrolls send them an email but don't send them that email immediately wait after uh say a two days of enrollment so i can say after two days from enrollment send them an email just to see hey how's it going it's been a couple of days since you signed up to my course is there anything i can help you with so you can do that here and then i can say once you send this email let's add another action add another tag to them and then here's the tag so i can say once i've sent this email but i'm i'm going to make this tag also go on two days after uh, they have enrolled so i can say after two days from enrollment apply this tag and whatever that tag can be so you can start tagging people and using their automations to drive better results for your students and for yourself and you can use these tags you can use these automations and then now you can pull reports and see what are the tags that have fired so far and based on those tags you can now communicate with your students very effectively so i do like that about new zendler and I'm assuming that's what automations are in Kajabi. And that's pretty much it for their 119 a month plan. Now, if you do get two weeks free trial with Kajabi, but look at this, what happens after the two week trial? You're going to be charged $1,428 for a year. And here's the kicker of it with New Zendler, you get, uh, let's go back to the pricing page. You don't have to pay a single penny. You sign up for the free trial, use my link that will be in the description below, request a beta invite, sign up and start using the school, even have their support team move the content for you, whether you're on Teachable or Thinkific or Kajabi, and they will move your entire content for you. All you have to do is design your pages, which is super easy to do. And with that, you get unlimited number of days to try it out. The kicker is that when their pricing goes up again, this price used to be 337 bucks a year, now it has gone up to 447 bucks a year and every couple of months they're going to be increasing their pricing as they refine the system and fix all the bugs because it is in beta it is in beta you have you get in on a less expensive price but you have to deal with some of the bugs that the system has as they are working towards it 
and we beta people as beta users are kind of like the guinea pigs that help shape the platform and make it better for everyone else but prices that we get in a discount that no one else will when this system goes live when they launch publicly real quick if you're new to the channel consider hitting the subscribe button so you get notified every time i release a new video now let's continue with this review so keep that in mind but i haven't personally encountered any major bugs that are showstoppers which will prevent me from launching my course it's minor things that are growing pains that i can deal with for the price i pay so you get 14 day free trial with uh, kajabi unlimited free trial with new zendler the point being that when they are about to up their price that's when you want to get in and lock in your 447 dollars but that doesn't prevent you from start to starting to use the platform today without putting any money down zero money down so that was it for Kajabi versus New Zendler? There isn't much comparison I can do because on their basic plan that you, what you see is what you get. And as I've mentioned in previous videos, there is a lot you get with New Zendler just on their pro plan, which is going to be at the same level as Kajabi's basic plan, as teachable as Thinkific. It's going to be in the $100 per month range. But right now it is at 37 bucks a month if you break it down from the 447 a year. So it's definitely a great investment. And if you're selling a course for 100 bucks, that's like four course sales, four and a half course sales to pay for your entire wor uh, year's worth of New Zealand subscription. Keep that in mind and I'm sure you'll make the educated decision that's best for your wallet, your money and your life. And there you have it, Course Heroes, the comparison between Kajabi and New Zealand. Mention in the comment below what is your favorite platform and if you'd like me to review it as well. Thank you again for watching and I will see you on the flip side.